got a warning for you right now. The pictures that you're about to see are really tough to look at. A second person now coming forward after being diagnosed with a rare flesh-eating bacteria. But look, you know, if we don't show you these pictures, you don't get an idea of how serious this is. These are pictures of the, sim the symptoms that both patients had here. Uh, Lauren St. Germain joins us now live in studio. Now, Lauren, this most recent case, the man says he likely got it right here in the Tampa Bay area. Yeah, that's right, James. He says he was on a boating trip near Whedon Island during spring break and got sick after that. This right here, this is one of the top stories right now on our website, abcactionnews.com. Barry Briggs is the Ohio man who tells us he's lucky the surgeons could save his foot. And these photos, they are hard to look at. It's hard to even believe it's real. He tells us it started out as a slight bruising and then quickly turned into an inflamed dark black bubble. Doctors diagnosed him with necrotizing fasciitis. This is extremely rare. The CDC says they have just 700 to 1200 cases each year, but they do think it's underreported. I'm incredibly fortunate to, to have all my toes, to have my foot, to be alive. Well, one in a million, and uh, that, that's not the lottery I wanted to win. No, definitely not. This story comes just days after we first reported on a Florida fisherman named Mike Walton. He said a fishing hook stuck him about 20 miles off the coast of Palm Harbor, and that's when he says he got the infection.